broken trust, a Maryland pediatrician facing dozens of criminal counts, has been released from jail tonight. How he was allowed to practice while facing criminal charges. Hello, everybody. I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Vic Carter. Just moments ago, Dr. Ernesto Torres paid a $400,000 bail. He's now at home awaiting trial. His lawyer says he is innocent, but prosecutors fought to keep him locked up. They called the pediatrician a danger to the community. WJC investigator Mike Helgen is live in Frederick, where he spoke to a parent and the state's attorney tonight. Mike. Vic and Denise, Dr. Torres posted that bail very quickly. He has practiced here in the Frederick community for 40 years, and the state's attorney says he is not a U.S. citizen and believes he's a flight risk. A judge has now stopped Dr. Ernesto Torres from practicing medicine. The number of patients the pediatrician is accused of having sexual contact with in his Frederick office has climbed to at least two dozen by the state's attorney's count. We had one uh, victim come forward, which was the basis for the first indictment. Eleven came forward after that. They're the basis for the second indictment. We have over a dozen that have come forward since then. But the judge also allowed Dr. Torres to go free, granting bail, but raising the amount to half a million dollars. Amber Gunder tells WJZ her children were patients of Dr. Torres, but not victims of abuse. It makes you not want to trust anyone with your kids. I mean, I think... The first person who came forward was really brave. Torres online record with the Maryland Board of Physicians shows no sign there are any criminal charges against him. After the first abuse charge, the judge left it up to the board to temporarily suspend the doctor's license. But prosecutors told WJZ the board's not capable of doing so, meaning until now, even facing felony counts, he was free to examine patients. Maybe the judge was under a misimpression the first time that the medical board could intervene and maybe temporarily suspend his license. I don't know. Dr. Torres faces more than 65 criminal counts, including rape and sexual abuse. The alleged victims are as young as 11 years old, and the cases date from 1980 through November 2018. If anybody believes that their child may be a victim, to please contact us. Prosecutors allege the doctor fondled many of the victims while their parents were in the exam room. He had his back to you a lot and as a parent you just you don't think about what, what you're not seeing. And this is one of the largest doctor patient abuse cases ever here. Dr. Torres' as defense attorney says he's hired a private investigator to look into each of these allegations. He says Torres cares more about his patients and his practice than he does himself. Live in Frederick, Mike Helgren, WJZ.